Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. You know that feeling when you're trying to keep your business network running smooth, but it feels like you're constantly playing whack-a-mole? One device goes down, you fix it, and something else starts acting up on the other side. That was me for way too long, and it was driving me absolutely nuts. That's what got me looking into Ovic in the first place. Now, when I first heard about cloud-based network management, I'll admit, I was pretty skeptical. I mean, it seems like another tech buzzword that was just supposed to magically solve all my problems. But I gotta say, after using Avic for several months now, it has completely changed how I approach network management. So today, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I learned. The good, the not so good, and whether it's worth checking out for your setup. But before we dive into Avic, let me quickly explain SaaS, because it's important to understand the whole picture. SaaS stands for Software as a Service, and you're probably already using it without even realizing it. Google Drive, Zoom, Dropbox, that's all SaaS. Instead of installing heavy software on your computer that you gotta maintain and update, everything just lives in the cloud. What makes this so dang useful for business is that you can access it from anywhere. Your office, home, even that coffee shop with questionable Wi-Fi. You don't worry about servers crashing or updates breaking everything. You just pay for what you use and somebody else handles all the technical headaches. Ovic is this Canadian company that started back in 2011 in Waterloo. Same place that gave us Blackberry actually. It was three engineers, they got just fed up with outdated network management tools and decided to build something better. So when I first started testing Ovic, I was expecting another overly complicated dashboard that takes forever to figure it out. You know the type, where you need a manual just to find the power button, but it actually surprised me right from the start. The whole thing is cloud-based, so no heavy installations or messing with servers. In most cases, you don't even need agents on every device. Now, I've set up plenty of network monitoring tools over the years, and most wanna make you pull your hair out. You're dealing with complex setup wizards and configuring SNMP on every device, and half the time you're not even sure if it's working right. With Ovic, the onboarding was actually like pleasant. I, I know, I know that sounds weird about network software, but it, it really was. You deploy it through VMware or Windows and once it's running, just gets to work. No complicated wizards or having to map out your network by hand. The thing starts scanning and building device inventory automatically. What really got me is how clean the dashboard looked. I'm used to interfaces designed by engineers for engineers. 50 different tabs and menus everywhere. Ovix interface just kind of makes sense. I bet even my wife could figure out the basics and that's saying something about how intuitive it is. Let's talk about what Ovix actually does once you get it running. First thing that caught my attention was the automated network discovery. The moment you install it, Ovix starts mapping out your entire network and shows you how everything's connected in real time. And I ain't talking about some static diagram that's outdated the minute you add a new printer. This thing updates automatically. The traffic monitoring is where things get really interesting. You can see which applications are hogging bandwidth. You can see what users might be causing slowdowns and even spot potential security issues before they turn into real problems. Instead of just guessing, you know, why is the internet slow today? You can actually see what's going on. One thing that saved me more than once is the configuration backup feature. Every single time someone makes a change to a device, on purpose or on accident, Ovic automatically backs up that configuration. So, for example, if you have a new tech and he accidentally messes up a switch's config at 4 p.m. on a Friday. Your weekend ain't ruined. You just roll it back. They have an alerting system, which is pretty intelligent as well. Instead of getting generic notifications that don't really tell you much, you can customize alerts based on what actually matters to your setup. Though, <laughs> I warn you, if you don't dial these things in properly, your phone will be losing it all day long. Here's where things get a little frustrating with Ovic because they don't publish their pricing anywhere on their website. You gotta contact them for a custom quote, which always makes me a little bit nervous. From what I've been able to figure out, it starts at around 150 bucks a month for the basic features, and then scales up based on how many devices you're managing. If you've only got a handful of devices, it's probably not gonna make financial sense, but for medium-sized networks, it's actually pretty reasonable when you consider 
what you're getting. And they do have a two week free trial, which I definitely recommend. If you are interested in checking Ovic out, I've got a link down in the description with special deals you can't get going directly to their site. Now, after using Ovic for months now, there's definitely some things that just keep impressing me. The biggest one is how quickly you can go from knowing basically nothing about what's going on in your network to having complete visibility like zero to hero Hercules style in like less than a day. And the real-time alerts, genuine lifesaver. Instead of finding out about problems when users start complaining, you actually know what's happening before things go completely sideways. That alone has saved me from plenty of those late night emergency calls. If you're managing multiple clients, like most MSPs do, the multi-tenant support is solid. You can flip between different client networks with just a couple of clicks. And you set up templates to keep everything consistent across different sites. Now, Ovic ain't perfect. Nothing is. The whole contact us for pricing thing, it's annoying when you're just trying to do research. For small businesses with like five or six devices, Ovic is probably overkill and it's too expensive to justify the cost. And while Ovic gives great network visibility, it's not as deep into like performance analytics as like true enterprise tools. And like I mentioned, if you don't tune alerts properly, it gets real noisy real fast. Now, the biggest competitor I keep hearing about is Ninja One. Both use custom pricing, so no posted prices for either. They're both strong on monitoring and support and pretty easy to use. The key difference is that Ninja One is more an all-in-one IT management solution. If you need endpoint management, patching, scripting, and really just controlling everything IT related, Ninja One packs a lot into one platform. Whereas Ovic is laser focused on network management. And that's where it really shines. You know, real-time mapping and traffic insights, automated config backups, they're all top-notch. So essentially, Go with Ninja One if you need this full IT endpoint control. But if network visibility and simplicity are what you're after, Ovic's probably the better fit. Bottom line, Ovic is solid for MSPs or for mid-sized IT teams or really any business who needs clear network visibility without jumping through hoops. Now, is it the most powerful tool for deep analytics? No, but that's not what it's trying to be. Ovic is built for teams who want to stay ahead of network problems, respond quickly, and scale without weeks of setup and training. If your priority is solid network monitoring with the right amount of automation and a nice clean interface that doesn't make you want to chuck your computer out the window, Ovic is definitely worth considering. It won't do everything, but what it does, it does really well. Now, I'm curious about your experience with network management tools. Have you tried Ovic or something else that's working well. Drop a comment below because I always like hearing what's working for other folks. And don't forget to check out the link in the description if you want to try Ovic for yourself. Like I mentioned, it'll get you access to deals that aren't available going straight to their website. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.